Hi, my name is Matt and I'm the QuoteWorks MVP for 2017. In this video, we'll be having a look at two features that are very similar, optional items and required items. If you have items that are options, you may want to use the optional items feature to ensure that your user is aware of all available options for the given core item before that item is added to the quote. Required items are when you have other items that are required to be quoted with the core item, ensuring that all necessary products and services are added to your quote. Configuring optional and required items is very straightforward and there are a number of places within QuoteWorks to see these links. Using optional and required items make your quotes more accurate, ensuring that all items are quoted correctly and also giving the client additional options for consideration aids the up and cross sell. Let's now have a look at these in action. Before we look at the configuration, let's look at these features using some real world examples. So on screen, I have an example product database and against my top item just here, I have some optional items linked to this core product. So if I double click to add it to my quote, we can see that as well as the information about the primary item towards the top, we have some optional items towards the bottom. In this case, let's choose to include the structured wiring package. If I now look in QuoteWorks, I can see that as well as my core item, the additional optional item has been added. This item has been added to the quote and the total is included. I'll just quickly go and add a subtotal and do similar again, but this time I'm going to choose some other options and tell QuoteWorks to include these as optional, not selected items. If I now add a subtotal for these items in our second section, we can see that the values in green are not going towards my quote total. This indicates to the client that these items are optional for their consideration and if they were presented via quote valet, they would be checkboxes that by default would be unselected. If I wanted, I can present them as options, but is selected. So in this case, the $81.25 is now going towards my total, but if presented via quote valet, a client could choose to deselect it if they wish. I'll now come back to my product database and choose to include my second item. This second item has some required items and no optional items. So if I double click and choose to add that primary item to the quote, we can see that automatically without any prompts, it has included the programmable remote and some labor that is associated with that core product. If I add a subtotal, we can see that all of these items are going towards the total for that section. Now that we've seen these features in action, let's have a look at the configuration. So I'll choose my first item and go to the edit view. You'll see that we have two tabs at the top, required and optional items. And for my core product, we have four options. I can easily add an additional item and I can review all of the attributes of that item. So do I want to be doing things like linking the quantity to the parent item? This means that the quantity set here will automatically change when the master items quantity is also adjusted. I can also choose to modify the sort order. So in which order might these options be presented? Adding items is used when the product, which is an option, already exists in a product database. I can also add an optional item which does not yet currently exist. Now that I've added a couple of new options, let's add this once more. 
we can now see that instead of the original optional items, we're now being presented with these additional optional items which we have just added. I'll add this to the quote, including one of the optional items, marking it as optional, and add that to the quote towards the bottom, add my subtotal, and we can see because I chose to mark the second item as optional, it is not currently included in that section's total. Required items are very similar. I come to my required items tab and I can see the existing required items and I could choose to add a new one if I wished. Required items also allow me to set different line types. So if I maybe wanted to add a comment or a heading line, for example, I can do that. I'll just add this additional required item and now create maybe a new comment line. So I'm now going to set the line type as comment, click OK, add the item, and we can now see that we've got the core product, the required items which are products and have pricing associated, but we also have our comment line just here as well, added automatically. If I create a new quote just for clarity, it's also possible for items to have both required and optional items. So here I've got a product with a number of optional items, but no required items. So I will now add some. What we'll now see when I choose to include this product will be the core product, some optional items which I'm choosing to include, which have appeared at the bottom for me, as well as the two additional required items. We can easily review which items have options or required items in several places in QuoteWorks for ease for your users. Either from within the product database, we can show item requirements or options. From within our main screen in QuoteWorks, we can show those item requirements or options. And if I wanted to add one of these options, which was not currently in the quote, I can do that from this screen as well. Finally, if I wanted to see all items that maybe had required or optional items, I can do that from this resizable window. From this screen, I can either modify existing associations or I could even add a new association. So here I'll choose a random item, choose to edit that, and add some optional items. When I now choose to include that product, our optional items are presented. So in summary, optional and required items are very useful for several purposes. On the optional item side, you can ensure your users are aware of all available options for a given item before those items are added to the quote. And required items ensure all necessary items are added to the quote. As you've seen, it's very easy for the user both to add these optional items to a quote, but also for a system administrator to configure these optional and required item associations. Thank you for watching.